Okay, second part. This was the bit which I wanted to uh, stress. Now, in other countries, uh, you, as you said, like uh, certain Eastern uh, European countries and more so in Asia, they hyper-specialize people. Um, now, that is not entirely true in Japan. Uh, in Japan, of course, they actually try to get everybody in every field or what have you because uh, they want people to excel. It's all part of their whole technological spectrum thing. Um, you know, trying to advance technology with a limited amount of resources on an island nation. Yeah, that, that, I digress. Um, my main point is, uh, I, think, I think you're right. Maybe not so much in the tracking aspect, but more so in the fact that we need to encourage people to understand that science and mathematic understanding or success in school is actually necessary. And there's a simple reason, uh, and pushing for this better than athletics. And uh, I, I'd agree with you, and for this reason, and this probably this reason alone. Um, I've already given a great degree of uh, I've already given a great degree of um, of, uh, of, uh, of argument in my video uh, Homo, Homo sapiens autisticus about why um, uh, critical thinking and uh, why critical thinking and why um, uh, uh, and uh, why critical thinking and intelligence and hyper specialization in science and mathematical areas would be a beneficial would be an evolutionary benefit in our society in light of the fact that we are living in a much more highly technological society and um, and in light of that uh, anything that would uh, be contrary to that I mean uh, more athleticism and uh, less understanding of technological issues would sooner or later come back to bite us and would end up causing societal fall. Uh, so, uh, again, that would due to uh, uh, lack of input of resources. Uh, again, see my videos on cosmocracy for that, and uh, see the site I quote in my little theory on my theory on little green men. But anyway, I digress. Um, my major point about this is again, I will stress it here. Um, if we are in a technological society, the United States and Canada, along with Western Europe, Japan, and I think China is starting to come up there now. Uh, what with their, um, what with that whole thing about uh, they're trying to reindustrialize and all that. Um, we are most of these countries are becoming new, are becoming the the centers, if you will, of of, of constant evolu uh, of constant evolution in technology. Uh, computer technology is growing like nobody's business. Um, you know, various other aspects of technology are required to keep our society going and to keep our international uh, community moving. If there is a lack of understanding of these issues of science and technology and mathematics, more importantly, science and mathematics, you know, the, 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 the knowledge which is required to understand the basis of technology, if this info is not, um, is not encouraged or is not, um, is not stressed in school, at least at the, very, at the very least to a high school level, if not, you know, trying to push it at a university level, you know, for more people to at least take a, a, a calculus course or, or, or a computer, so, you know, like take something like this as an intro to, uh, or better, to at least get a vague understanding of the ideas, you know, you know, to get a vague understanding that something needs to be done here, you know, to better be better informed on the issues. Um, you know, if this is discouraged, then when technological issues arise or when issues arise that could, uh, you know, where technology, uh, you know, where our technological society could become on the tier or, or something like this could become problematic, then um, the governments, uh, remember, of course, that we in the U.S. and Canada are, uh, are a democratic system and people are elected based on the, but based on their popularity with the, uh, with the people, not necessarily based on uh, issues, pertain, uh, issues that are of direct concern to the country or to society, but what people consider to be issues. So if the overall public is not understanding of math and science issues, then when a crisis hits, incorrect solutions will no doubt be implemented or solutions which would probably be, uh, be severely dangerous to the public because of the fact that the public does not understand the necessity for math and science. Um, another example of issues where, um, another example of popular culture where uh, science, uh, well, this is my own point of view, where not only is science and technology not necessarily understood, uh, or it's encouraged people to, uh, to fail in high school, but if you take a look at some of the current movies coming out, uh, a lot of the zombie films like Flight of the Living Dead, uh, Land of the Dead that came back out in 2005, um, uh, much of the zombie films that are coming out, um, let me think. Oh, there was another documentary that came out recently, um, uh, End of the World Something. Uh, it was a uh, Adam Savage uh, from Mythbusters was uh, part of this documentary, uh, which talked about how to survive a post-apocalyptic world. In every single one of these, um, I Am Legend, the new I Am Legend film that came out in 2007, um, uh, these are all examples of what happened when... Um, 
uh, they basically all uh, is, is again it's another uh, bring about of this whole idea of, of a post-apocalyptic society but it's it's phrased in such a way where um, where science ha in in one way I mean like they, they do have the idea of the struggling scientist alone you know uh, fighting against all odds so you know like that's an idea but they but they keep talking about the individual scientists being isolated or they talk about scientists being the ones responsible for bringing out the end of the world bringing about the end of the world again bringing something of a distrust of science or exacerbating it already exists distrust of science and mathematics in our society and again as I've stated before in previous videos this could be uh, extremely harmful so I fully agree with you that we need to seriously um, re-encourage people to uh, uh, you know I mean hell even uh, or even better yet um, uh, if we're go or like or even better yet let's do the streaming but let's do it in such a way that at least if we're going to put democracy on a level then if if the issue become becomes a scientific or a technological issue for the country then the humanities people don't vote on it or don't vote on it unless uh, you know or or at least when they're given the option um given a a, a course in in uh, Somebody suggested a um, Robert Heinlein, a science fiction writer from the 1960s, suggested the idea of a uh, of uh, suggested the idea in one of his um, in one of his uh, science fiction books that um, that people who voted be required to correctly do a quadratic equation before they had to do the vote. If they couldn't, they weren't allowed to vote that election. Uh, and of course, or if not, they were, uh, you know, if, if they were, uh, if they couldn't figure it out, then they were allowed to go and get coaching from tutors and textbooks would be available and the like. But if they still couldn't get it even after constant tutoring or constant help of one sort or another, or even tailoring it to their particular nervous disability, um, like I've got tutors who actually are specifically tailored to help explain differential equations to people with autistic spectrum disorders, um, you know, um, you know, even with that, like if they don't get it, then they're obviously not competent enough to handle that. Well, maybe that's not necessarily a good idea, but here's the other one. Um, politicians are constantly dealing with expenditures of money, dealing with technological issues of one sort or another anyway, dealing with foreign issues. Again, war, remember, has you know X amount of dollars or X amount of resources going in uh, to try to get some resources from another foreign country or to defend resources from, uh, from someone else getting them. So understanding the understanding the cost not just in terms of uh, in terms of uh, money going into it but in terms of material and uh, uh, um, casualty damage or, or property damage or stuff like that you need to have an understanding of math or science to understand what the full scale damage might be or to at least give a rough projection of that so here's the thing if a if a politician cannot do a quadratic equation they shouldn't be running for office you know like let's amend the system to at least encourage um, this you know this greater understanding in mathematics now I've heard a lot of people balk from it and say like oh I've had problems with math before that shouldn't stop me from being able to vote well that's not stopping you from voting what would be stopping you from voting would be um, the uh, would be your inability to do math after uh, or at least for politicians doing it, you know, would be, uh, you know, after constant tutoring, being unable to do a quadratic equation. And the reason why a quadratic equation, we give the major the vote of majority age 18. That's the idea of when we're supposed to be able to vote. That's roughly about the same time when people graduate high school. People who graduate high school with grade 12, if they've got done grade 12 math, should be able to know what uh, how to do a quadratic equation. Therefore, if we're going to keep that same age majority, we should be doing the age majority based on the quadratic equation uh, question and not necessarily on the age. Again, for mental, uh, for uh, this would, uh, again, uh, support for this could be based on the fact that there are uh, some people with actual mental disabilities who never gain um, intel, uh, who never gain a mental maturity beyond the age of 15 in some cases. Um, uh, again, there's plenty of psych references for that. Uh, I digress. Anyway, I think I've made my point uh, fairly succinctly. If you'd like evidence on any of my other points, go watch my previous videos. I quote sources, what have you, either in the summaries or directly in the video. Um, uh, again, I've pretty well covered this. Um, I think you probably understand, you probably know just as much of this as I've stated. So again, I think I'm probably preaching to the choir here. But um, yeah, uh, I have a tendency to rant. Uh, it's due to my disability, part of my, uh, part of my ranting for 20 minutes. But anyway, uh, like I said, uh, I agree with you totally. Uh, keep up the good work. And uh, yeah, um, if I have any uh, problems with my differential calculus or uh, questions uh, later on, if I can't get hold of tutors locally, you'll probably be the first person I'll be mailing. Uh, hopefully you're on fairly often so this way I can get a hold of somebody. I get a hold of you. Um, and I hope you won't mind. Uh, or if you need to charge me, just uh, we'll work something out, I guess, if you're interested uh, uh, in, tutoring, in tutoring me. So thanks a bunch. Um, keep up the good work.
uh, Toodles, and try to get the critical thinking promoted down there. I'll try to work uh, up here north of the border.